thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos on Friday or every other Friday whenever I can get them out for you guys. So today we are going to be making three different appetizers in the air fryer. I have one right here ready to go um, for us to get started and I will show you each one individually. So I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and go over everything with you guys. So I use taco packet for my hamburger and I already have that prepared for us today. So just follow the back of the package and that's all you need to do for the hamburger. I wanted to make this video quick so I went ahead and made it first. I also have my Kobe Jack cheese. I have my pizza crust and my pizza sauce. I have my butter that I will be melting down. And then I have my parsley and my garlic powder that I will be adding to my butter. Next, you're going to want to add some parsley flakes to your melted butter and some garlic powder. You're gonna to wanna to mix that up. Now we are going to be placing our little pizza sticks in the air fryer. I'm pretty sure I can get all of these in my air fryer. Okay, and now you're going to want to put that butter all over your pizza sticks. Now you're gonna wanna set your air fryer to 400 degrees and we are gonna cook these for 12 minutes. So I'm gonna bring that down to 12 minutes and I'll come back and we'll check on them and see how they look. So I'm gonna plate these up, I'm gonna cut them and show you what they look like and then I'm gonna try them out and I will tell you what they taste like. And then, because this is what the kids are going to have for lunch, so hopefully they're really good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next appetizer. This one is going to be the Sloppy Joe sticks, similar to the pizza ones, um, but we're going to be using Sloppy Joe mix instead of um, taco meat. So. One of the things that I realized when I showed you guys the pizza one, um, if you want, you can take your roller and roll out the crust a little bit thinner so it would be easier for you guys to roll up. Um, I guess I didn't really think of that when I did that. Um, but, so I got my pizza crust, I'm gonna open this up, get started with this and show you how to get started with the air fryer and get it all ready.
Okay, so I just pulled them out of the air fryer. I did have six minutes left, but that's just because my air fryer was already hot from the pizza bites or pizza rolls. So just uh, keep track of your heat time when you do back-to-back -back cooking because the second batch always cooks faster. So I'm gonna plate these up, cut them, and show you what they look like, and then I'm gonna try them out and let you know how they taste. Okay, so I'm gonna give these a try. Now, if you want some dipping sauce or anything with this, you could go ahead and try something. I know my kids eat Sloppy Joes with rice or um, ketchup and stuff like that. So you pick something that you like, but I did mention in one of my other videos that I do not like ketchup that much, but um, so I will not be eating this with ketchup. Okay, so these are better than the pizza ones, I have to say. Um, I was thinking the pizza ones were gonna be really good, but these are even better. I think I'm gonna eat my Sloppy Joes this way from now on. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be moving on to cornbread hot dog bites. I have my cornbread and everything mixed together. This is what I use, and this is usually what I use anyways for our cornbread. Um, but if you wanna make your own cornbread or have a different way of making it, um, go ahead and do that. But I already have mine mixed up right here. You're going to need a silicone tray or something that you can make muffins in. I got mine on Amazon and I have everything linked down below and you guys can get like an accessory kit and stuff to go in your air fryer. Um, just make sure that it is the right size for your air fryer. If you have a Power XL like mine, then the one that I have linked down below will work. Um, but you're gonna need something like this because this is what we're gonna be making them in. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and then what you need to do to set your air fryer. So. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and show you how to do this. All right, so now we're gonna be putting this in the air fryer and I'll show you what you need to set your air fryer to. Okay, so my corn dogs are done. I should have just said they were corn dog bites because that's pretty much what they are. So I'm gonna take these out of the air fryer. Now just keep in mind that when you are doing back-to-back -back cooking, for this recipe is 400 degrees for 12 minutes. But if your air fryer is already hot, make sure you lower the temp to adjust to the cooking time. If I would have kept this at 400 degrees for 12 minutes, I would have completely burned these. So I lowered the temp to 300 after about six minutes into cooking, uh, just so the inside would get cooked. So just keep in mind, keep checking, and that's one of the things with air fryers. You can open it up, you can check your food, and um, just go from there because it's not like a definite timing and all air fryers are different. I just wanna kinda say that right now because I know some people are like, well, I left mine in for this time, I left mine in for that, and it didn't work. So you kinda gotta play around with your air fryer and you gotta make sure that you guys are um, kinda like in tune with it, knowing what you're doing, and that's about it. So I'm gonna plate these up, give them a try, and see how they taste. If you guys want, you can put some honey on top. I know a lot of people like honey or ketchup or whatever you would like to add to these. I just, oh shoot, 
All right, I have my side right here. I kind of forgot to tell you guys. So you can add some ketchup or any kind of topping that you would like with these. Well, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like me to try in the air fryer or experiment with in the air fryer. Just let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.